mother-in-law said that I ought to get involved. Well, by golly, <laughs> I don't know about you and your mother-in-law, but if your mother-in-law tells you something like that, you want to stay on the good side of right, her, you know. Right, right, So I began to get, I began to come to Bonnet House. Uh, what was the interest that you had? What stimulated you to come here to the Bonnet House? Well, I did a tour uh, several years ago, brought mm -hmm. my mother, and just fell in love with the place. It was so beautiful, and mm -hmm. unlike anything else you'll ever find in Fort Lauderdale. And it took me a few years, but I finally got to the time where I said, okay, I'm going back and volunteer. Oh, So good. I can spend more time here. Oh, but what makes you stay? Because it is worth uh, getting your time to preserve this. And I think I just mentioned that uh, quite a few people have been in this area, lived here for most of their lives, and are unaware that this exists. This is it. And, and it truly is something that we should save and keep for our children to see. Why should we continue to maintain this particular home? Very specifically, it is a good look at the past. It's a true look at the past, although it's unique and, and, and unusual to see. Mm -hmm. It is a, uh, a fine place for people to begin with a history lesson of what South Florida really Your is. Your students. Have you seen the kids come in here? You have to be I here have. when the bus is unloaded. I have, yes. Yeah, there's very little need to stimulate them. So it's just a question. They are very happy to be in this area. Of yeah. bringing them here. I think that's correct. Do you think that will encourage others as they grow up, younger people, to realize that volunteering to help maintain this oh, living estate absolutely is important? It yeah, it, absolutely. If it becomes part of them when they're young, it should be remain with them for the rest of their lives, which is what we want to do when they come through here. But it's also, remember, the adults that come through who are snowbirds, mm -hmm. and then they take their... Uh, time through and then I explain to them you know the evening activities that exist here there's plenty of them uh, plenty of things to do uh, that is still an enjoyable part and then they grow into really wanting to be here right and uh, don't forget we have some very interesting people who volunteer and who work here mm -hmm. and it really helps you socially I mean, right. it's a fine place to spend some time. why is there a lightness there well, what look do around. you love it just does something to you mm -hmm. I enjoy it Don't forget, we have some very interesting people who volunteer and who work here, mm -hmm. and it really helps you socially. I mean, right. it's a fine place to spend some time. What keeps you coming back? Uh, my commitment to my mother-in-law for being a part of the family of Hugh Taylor Birch. And here's a really good way for teachers to get involved. They can give extra credit to the students for showing up to meet interesting people like Claudia. I've really enjoyed it. And well, why not get some I, teachers over here too? Well, if, if, uh, if you get involved in teaching young people about Bonnet House, I'll come. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time. Thank welcome. you so much, Claudia. Oh, you're welcome. I enjoyed being here.